I'm gonna be filling this entire sketchbook with realistic colored pencil drawings just like these. Oh my god, did you guys recognize that intro? Holy crap. If you didn't know, I've been posting all of these drawings onto my TikTok and you guys really like it and are asking for tutorials. And I can't go super in depth in just a one minute TikTok, so... I'm giving you guys a tutorial here on my YouTube channel. The materials that I use for these drawings are Prismacolor colored pencils. You can get them off of Amazon, you can get them at Michael or any art store. And the sketchbook that I use is a Strathmore toned gray sketchbook. It's five and a half by eight and a half inches, so. You can use any pencils that you want. Literally Crayola pencils will work for this. I'm thinking about going and getting some Crayola pencils and proving to you guys that it actually works with cheap pencils and like regular paper. Like you can use white paper, you don't have to use the toned paper. I only use the toned paper because it makes the pictures stand out more. Anyways, at this point, I didn't even know what to draw at this point, so I got out my trusty iPad, which I stepped on the other day, and it's broken now. <laughs> um, anyways, so we're gonna go on to the best app in the entire world, which is Pinterest, the most non-toxic social media in the entire world. It's so wholesome and beautiful. My Pinterest will be linked down in the description box if you want to see this board that I'm using right now for specifically this type of drawing. For some reason it's really hard to pick what drawing I'm going to do that day because I have to like dedicate an hour or more than an hour to that drawing and sometimes I just can't pick so leave your suggestions in the comments below please. I'll probably pick the most requested one next because I can't make decisions for myself. So finally, the picture that I ended up picking is this Christmas bow because one, it's almost Christmas and two, this was really requested on my TikTok and I remember it. So we're going to be drawing this today. Spoiler alert, it turned out extremely good and you should just keep watching this video because it looks so good and you should be proud of me. <laughs> all right, so to begin the drawing, the first thing that you need to do is pick out all of the colors that you see in this picture. So for me, it's basically all green plus a little bit of white. There's like a yellowish green and like a bluish light green. Um, so just pick out any color that you think might even be in the picture a little bit. Then on the page that comes right before the page that I'm going to be drawing on I just swatch out all of the colors and I try to do it lightest to darkest just to keep it organized but it really doesn't matter um, I just do this so that I know what each of the colors looks like and I can match it to the picture now we can start drawing so starting off is honestly the worst part for me I honestly just pick a random color I just picked like this green and I really didn't even know where to start so I began with just drawing a circle like literally just the basic shape just so I can get the composition of the paper down and everything. Then I start to draw the very outline of the picture. Since we're drawing an object and not like a person it doesn't really matter if it's like absolutely perfect you know like if it's a little bit too fat or a little bit too tall it won't you won't really be able to tell in the end because it's like an object that can be moved around it can be any shape or size um unlike like a, if you were drawing a face it would be it would be pretty easy to tell if like the nose was a little bit too far down or whatever you know so it it doesn't really matter don't stress yourself out too much about this part now I move on to drawing just the basic shapes on the inside of the object, like, you know, just all the little triangles and stuff that are in there. I don't even know how to explain it, but this part is honestly so boring to me. It's the coloring is actually the fun part, like the end of the coloring when you can actually see how good it's going to look and you're like, oh my God, this is going to look so good. I'm so motivated to keep drawing. But like in the beginning, I'm like, I don't want to do this. Like just give up now. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, this is really not that difficult to do. Like I've already seen some really good ones in my TikTok mentions of like just little kids doing this. Like literally... I am late to this, like I'm 18 years old and like I see 13 year olds on Instagram doing better than me, genuinely, like I'm not exaggerating. What I'm trying to say is even though this takes effort and like a couple hours to draw this thing, it's still, it's gonna end up looking really good, no matter what, I'm telling you. Just if you put in the work, the result will be so good, I'm telling you, you'll be so proud of yourself. Now what I'm doing to the drawing is I'm putting in the very lightest parts. And I'm not pushing hard for this. Don't push hard just yet. You will have to push hard in the end just to make it all smooth and stuff. But for this part, don't push super hard. Just lightly put in where all the very lightest spots are. 
Now I'm taking a pretty dark green and I'm putting in the darkest spots. I don't really take a black because there's not, I don't really see any black in the picture to be honest. Make sure if you're doing a different picture than I am right now that you're not using black for something that's not actually black. Like if it's like a dark pink or a dark green or anything, make sure you use a dark green or a dark pink instead of just a black because that will make it look more realistic. Because for these type of pictures, our brain sometimes tells us what it thinks it's supposed to look like instead of like looking what it actually looks like. And so make sure you look at what it actually looks like and draw that instead of just assuming like, oh, shadows are black, I should just use black because sometimes that's not true. Now I'm starting to kind of press a little bit harder with the darker pencil um, and I make sure to like sharpen it every once in a while to make sure the lines are sharp because especially on this picture it's a Christmas bow and basically all of it is just lines, like sharp lines and so I make sure to sharpen my pencil a lot so that I can make it nice and crisp so it looks really good. So while I'm doing this low-key you guys should go like check out my art Instagram or something avas.art <laughs> I'm just saying. It'll be linked in the description so you can go look at it later but I'm probably going to film a tutorial on how to take pictures of your drawings for artists if you want to learn how to do that I don't know leave a comment so now is the point in the drawing where I start doing details so I just pick like one little piece of a triangle and I take my medium tone greens you know what I'm saying like the main colors that I see in the picture and I just start detailing I push pretty hard I layer the colors to get the exact color that I want this is basically pretty self-explanatory to be honest it's easier to watch me do it and then just try it and practice this all is basically about practice like in order to be good at this you just have to practice a lot these next few clips are gonna be like super sped up because this took like a couple of hours I didn't I'm not sure exactly how much time because I went to work in between all of these clips being taken but I'm just saying it's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to draw this in 10 minutes like the amount of time this YouTube video is. Um, it's gonna take a while. You have to put in the effort to make it actually look good. But I swear it's worth it because, you know, you know. Honestly, the way that I'm showing you to draw right now is not... Apparently it's not the way that you're actually supposed to draw with colored pencils, like this is not perfect. I am self-taught, I haven't taken an actual art class since like middle school, my dog is barking. I am also still learning, so this is not like the way to draw with colored pencils, like there's definitely other ways, and probably better ways, but this is just how I do it. <laughs> I'm just saying, disclaimer. So I'm just working in really small sections like I said. Just go by section by section, making it like super detailed exactly how you see in the picture, like layering the colored pencils on top of each other and making it perfect. And make sure you go around like the absolute, like the outline and like sharpen your pencil. Remember to sharpen your pencil all the time to make it really crisp and go around the outside of the picture to make it like not look like a drawing, you know what I'm saying? Like make it super, like the line super hard and crisp and sharp at the end so it looks real, you know what I'm trying to say? Just pretend that the sentence that just came out of my mouth made sense. So now I'm just gonna let this video play and you can watch it for a little bit and I'll come back to you at the end, okay? Nice. And it's done! Let's go! I'm so excited! Yeah. Let's go! So this is what it looks like all finished. I added a little gray shadow at the bottom just to make it look more realistic, which is super easy and simple to do and pretty self-explanatory, so I don't think I need to explain it that much, but now that it's done, we can feel so satisfied with ourselves. We're like, oh my god, we're so skilled. I'm so talented. I'm such an artist. Vincent Van Gogh, watch out. But yeah, I hope this tutorial was actually helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, I will probably make another one of these videos because... These are actually really fun drawings to do and filming it is really fun.
to watch back. So yeah, comment any questions that you have. Make sure to follow my TikTok and my art Instagram. And I'll see you next time. Subscribe. Okay, bye. That was weird.